when the real estate involved is land on a First Nations reserve. The traditional real estate mortgage will not work for various reasons arising from federal legislation called the Indian Act. Under that legislation, title to First Nations reserve land is held solely by the federal crown, or in other words, the federal government. And title to reserve land cannot be transferred to private parties. Traditional real estate mortgages on reserve land are not possible since title to that land cannot be taken or sold in the event of a default. This makes it very difficult to obtain financing to foster economic development on First Nations reserves. A common way of getting around this problem that prevents mortgages directly on First Nations reserve lands is to take advantage of the fact that leasehold interests on reserve lands can be transferred to private parties and mortgaged. So one, one example of a way that this would work is, you know, we start with the government of Canada, which is the title holder of the land, and they enter into a 99 year lease with the First Nations Band or an economic development corporation owned by the First Nations Band. And then, then the land would be subleased to a property developer and then the property developer would, in essence, you know, sell uh, to individual home buyers uh, subleases. And by using subleases or leases and subleases, this allows banks and other non-indigenous lenders to provide financing that is secured by mortgages on the subleases.